show you how to format a laser cutter file for our laser cutter. Uh, start in Google Classroom where you'll find the 3DM files in your um, assignment. Go down. Uh, the first thing you want to do is look at the templates, which are in this folder. When you look at those templates, you're going to find a whole bunch of these in here. Uh, pick one that looks interesting to you and that has a small enough number of parts that you think you can make it. I'm going to choose the ballista right this second because I know a lot of students are interested in this. Um, once I find the ballista, then I'm going to go back and I'm going to click on this file that says DXF files are here. When I click on that, it's going to open up uh, this other folder over here. And actually, here, I'll click on that. It's going to open this up, make cnc.dxf. There's a whole bunch of files. You're never going to be able to scroll through all this. There's 10,000 files. So drop down, do a search within the folder, and just type in whatever it is you're looking for. In my case, I'm looking for a ballista. Now, we have one eighth inch plywood here. Uh, if we had three millimeter, we could use that too. Honestly, either of those would work. Uh, you're going to need both the ballista and the bolts. So if there's multiple files, make sure you download them both. So I'm going to click on that and click on this one. And I'm going to download it. I could download the other later on my own time. So I'll download this guy and hit save. Now I'm going to go over to Rhino and I'm going to open that file. Open it up. I'm going to grab that ballista file that I just downloaded. I'm going to make sure that my model units and my layout units are correct. If one's in inches and the other's in inches, then we should come in in the correct format. It's going to come in like this. We don't need all four views, so double click on the word top. There it comes. And now the first thing I want to do is I want to draw a box to make sure that I know uh, how big my material is. So I'm going to get a tape measure. I'm going to measure my wood. And today my wood is 24 inches by 16 inches in size. I'm going to pick a corner. And instead of dragging this box, you'll see up in the, over here on the left side, it says other corner or length. So I'm going to type in 24 tab and then 16 return. And that's going to make me a box. And that's 24 inches by 16 inches in size. You'll see in the bottom right corner, there's actually X and Y coordinates. And uh, those will also pop up with whatever it is that we think uh, we need. I'm going to go to Analyze at the top and click Distance. And I can click from one side to the other side. And in the bottom, it will say Distance equals 24.016 inches. And so now I know I've made a box that's about the right size. So my ballista is actually going to fit on my board pretty well. A couple things I need to do. First, click on my box. And then over on the right side, I'm going to change the display color to blue. And make sure that that's red and green or nothing, and blue is 255. So I like to go to the RGB sliders and make sure I have a pure blue. Then over here under print color, I'm also going to choose blue. There's blue, making sure I have all blue and no red and no green. That gives me a nice blue square. Blue will not laser cut. So that makes sure that I know that that's never going to be a laser cut object. Anything that I do cut on the laser either needs to be red or black. So I'm going to select this. And for this class, we want to make this red. I'm going to click over here. And I'm going to choose this red. And you should see that it's 255 red. That's an 8-bit color there. Uh, full 255 is the value with no green and blue. And then likewise, print color. Let's select that and do red. And I'm all red. Good. So now we've got a nice red ballista. I am going to select, look at me messing it up. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select my objects by just clicking a box around them. And then over here on the left side, I'm going to go to this button that looks like it says move. I'm going to hit move. Move. All right. And it says point to move from. Now I could type in coordinates, but I'm actually just going to click once and then I'm going to drag this up and I'm going to put this wherever I feel like I want it. Now, in this case, I actually want to rotate this. So I'm going to put it in the center for right this second. All right. And now I'm going to select it all again. And this time I'm going to come over and hit the rotate button. I'm going to hit rotate. I'm going to click right here in the center. And there's two ways to do this. One is I can click and drag and just rotate it manually. Now, it can be hard to get it perfect. All right. And in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you'll actually see a number. And that tells you how much you've rotated it. So you could just eyeball the number 90. But me, I'm a perfectionist. So I'm going to hit Escape. And instead, I'm going to hit Rotate. I'm going to click the center of rotation. 
and then I'm just going to type in the number 90 and press enter. And that's going to perfectly rotate me 90 degrees. So now I've got this set up. The next thing to check is the size. These are all press fit parts. So I'm going to scroll in on one of these notches. We have quarter inch plywood, or sorry, eighth inch plywood right now. And up here it says I have the eighth inch file, but I want to double check. Analyze, distance. I'm going to zoom all the way in here and I'm going to click on one corner and another corner. And in the bottom right corner, it tells me the distance is 0.125 inches. That is an eighth of an inch. Now I need to use my dial caliper to actually measure my plywood. And I measured mine to be 0.105 inches. So I need to make this a little bit smaller. I need to scale my entire diagram so that it will fit with my thickness of plywood. I'm gonna open the calculator. All right, here's my calculator. My plywood is 0.105 inches thick. I'm gonna divide that by the thickness of these notches on my model, which is 0.125. That gives me a scale factor of 0.84 or 84%. I'm gonna remember that number, 0.84. I'm gonna come in here, select all of my stuff. Over here, there is a little button called scale. Click on scale. Uh, if it asks you to do 2D, do that. All right, now I have a base point. Uh, sometimes I like to make the base point in the corner. Honestly, you can do it wherever you want. There it is. And now over here it says scale factor. And instead of one, I'm going to say 0.84. Just type it in and I'm going to hit enter. Nice. Now I'm going to zoom in again and I'm going to check if my notches are now the actual thickness of what I want. I'm going to go to analyze, distance, click a dot, click a dot. And down here it says I'm at 0 0.105 inches. That is beautiful. That's what I want. All right, I'm going to click again. I'm going to select everything. I'm going to hit the move button. Move. I am going to click any part of this and I'm going to drag it to the top left corner of my box. All right, because that's where I want to put it. Now, if I have more files that I need to bring in and format, I can bring those in and arrange all of those on here. I want to get them as tight as I can so that I'm not wasting material. Whenever I'm happy with what I've got, I'm going to say File, Save. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to add my name to the beginning, Mr. Trimble. You can just add your first name. That's the easiest way. And then uh, I'm actually going to add on the end what I just did to this, which is I made this 84%, all right? And that is gonna let, it's gonna remind me what it is that I just did. Uh, Cause this is not eight, one eighth inch. It's a one eighth inch that has been scaled down to 0 0.105 inches. I'm gonna hit save. That's gonna save that file. Then I'm gonna go back to Google Classroom. I'm gonna go back to this assignment. I'm going to attach that. I'm gonna turn it in and then I'm gonna use the computer to laser cut it.